As tensions rise between the U.S. and China over control of the Pacific, the race for air superiority is heating up. In the middle of it all, America's unveiled a new powerhouse, turning heads worldwide, Boeing's F-15EX. This isn't just another fighter jet. It's a high-speed, long-range, heavily-armed beast that's sparking serious buzz. Could it be the ultimate game-changer in today's air combat? And what exactly gives it the edge? Let's dive into the cutting-edge capabilities of the all-new F-15EX, now being put to the test by the U.S. Boeing Defense just hit a major milestone in the F-15EX Eagle II program. On March 18, 2025, they confirmed the first jet, from Lot 2 production, the X-9, is cleared for flight testing. The X-9 is now on the flight line, ready for the next round of evaluations. It's the latest evolution of the legendary F-15 a long-time backbone of the U.S. Air Force. The F-15EX was born out of a clear need for modernization. Back in the 2010s, the Air Force faced shrinking fighter numbers and had to rethink its strategy for the 2020s. After the Cold War ended in 91, defense budgets dropped and focus shifted to smaller, unconventional conflicts like those post-9-11 that stalled many upgrade plans. Originally, the Air Force wanted 381 F-22s to replace aging F-15A D models. But by 2009, that number was slashed to just 187. To bridge the gap, 179 older F-15C slash DS got life extensions. Nicknamed the f 15 c or Golden Eagle. They were upgraded with advanced radars infrared search and track systems, and improved electronic warfare gear to keep them combat ready. The Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, EPOS, was a major upgrade for the F-15, developed by Boeing and BAE Systems. Some of these upgrades were also planned for the F-15E, but by the mid-2020s, the F-15C and D models were aging fast, facing structural issues that made it clear they wouldn't last into the 2030s. Meanwhile, delays in replacing them with F-35s left a gap in the Air Force's fighter fleet. Restarting F-22 production was considered, but it was too costly and complex. Rebuilding the supply chain would take too long. This forced the Air Force to rethink its strategy. The need was clear. A new fighter that could meet modern threats and fill the gap. At the same time, Boeing had been upgrading F-15ES for export leading to a major redesign called the F-15 Advanced Eagle. The F-15SA first flew in 2013, followed by the F-15QA in 2017. Then in 2018, studies showed that mixing 4th and 5th gen fighters could help rebuild the fleet more affordably. That led to talks between Boeing and the USAF about a new version, the F-15X. Based on the F-15QA, the f 15X was meant to replace the older C and D models. Boeing proposed both single and two-seat versions, but to cut costs, the Air Force chose the two-seat F-15EX, since only two-seat variants were still in production. In 2019, eight F-15EX jets were included in the 2020 budget, keeping the F-15 line active and supporting Boeing's St. Louis plant. The F-15EX came with upgrades like ASA Radar, IRSD, EPOS, a strengthened airframe rated for 20,000 hours, new cockpit controls, and the Amber Rack, capable of carrying up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles. While it's not as stealthy as the F-35 or F-22, the F-15EX plays a vital role, handling air defense, enforcing no-fly zones, and supporting stealth jets with long-range weapons. In July 2020, the Pentagon ordered 8F-15E-S times S for $1.2 billion, and the jet's first flight was on February 2, 2021. On April 7, 2021, it was officially named Eagle II. The 2021 budget added $1.23 billion for 12 more jets, aiming for a total of 144. But by 2022, the order was cut to 8. As of 2024, the budget called for 24 more, bringing the plan total to 104. With production increasing, the Air Force isn't just boosting numbers, it's investing in a more capable F-15 built 
to meet today's challenges. The Advanced Eagle is a major upgrade, blending improvements from export models. Key changes include the full integration of the General Electric F110G-129 engine and the new A-LQ-239 Digital Electronic Warfare System, which replaces the older system and offers better defense against modern threats. The redesigned wing structure boosts the jet's lifespan to 20,000 flight hours with stronger, longer-lasting wings. It also features a digital fly-by-wire control system that improves stability and reactivates two wing pylons previously disabled due to flutter issues, allowing extra weapons load. The F-15QA, made for Qatar, was the first with these wings and the advanced display core processor too. A faster, smarter mission computer and a large 10 by 19 inch touchscreen cockpit display for easier control and weapons management. Building on the F-15QA, the F-15EX adds advanced systems for the U.S. Air Force, including the Raytheon APG, 82V, 1 ASA radar for superior tracking, BAE's Eagle Passive Active Warning System to detect threats, and the Lockheed Martin Legion Pod with IRST-21 sensor, which tracks enemies by heat, aiding stealth in jammed environments. Though the F-15EX lacks the common missile warning system found on some exports, it keeps sensor housings to avoid airframe redesign and maintain control system integrity. Its standout feature is a huge payload capacity. It can carry 12 air-to-air -air missiles, AMROMs and Sidewinders, and AGM, 88 HARM anti-radar missiles. With upgraded racks and conformal fuel tank stations, it might carry up to 16 AMROMs for Sidewinders and two harms, though this setup isn't tested yet. For strike missions, the F-15EX can carry diverse weapons like 16 small diameter bombs, four AMROMs, a 2,000 pounds JDM, two harms, and two external tanks. It also supports bigger standoff weapons like the AGM, 158 JSM and hypersonic AGM, 183 ARW, making it a strong wingman for stealth jets like the F-22 and F-35. Despite being bigger and heavier than older models, the F-15EX handles smoothly and lets pilots fly aggressively without losing control. It's safer with uneven weapons loads, easing complex mission handling. While not as stealthy as the F-22 or F-35, it's packed with smart tech that helps pilots detect danger early and stay protected. Radar and defense systems work together to track threats and improve survivability. The jet also features a high-tech helmet that lets pilots aim simply by looking at a target, with sensors that detect enemy aircraft by heat. A huge advantage in tricky combat situations. Stealthy threats have evolved, and while some tech in the F-15EX was used in older jets, this fighter combines it all into a more powerful, efficient package. It can be flown solo, but also has a second seat for managing weapons or complex tasks and that seat might soon help control uncrewed drones flying alongside it. The F-15EX isn't just for today. It's built to evolve with future Air Force needs. Though mainly an air-to-air -air fighter, the F-15EX can strike ground targets with precision thanks to advanced targeting systems. Its flexible design allows easy upgrades, keeping it at the cutting edge without major overhauls. This adaptability helps make it one of the world's most advanced fighters. Recent upgrades include better avionics, stronger weapons, and higher payload capacity, ensuring the F-15EX stays ahead in modern combat and can handle current and future threats. Moving the EX-9 to the flight line marks a major milestone for Boeing, showing they've overcome early quality and manufacturing challenges. This success proves Boeing can meet tight deadlines and support Air Force modernization despite the F-15EX's complexity. The F-15EX improves on the older F-15C divided by D by using an open mission systems, OMS, architecture, allowing quick, affordable updates to software, sensors, and weapons, keeping it effective for years. Its key features include the and slash APG, 82V, 1 ASA radar, offering superior tracking and targeting, and the Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System, EPOS which boosts electronic warfare and defense capabilities for better survivability in contested airspace. As testing continues, the F-15 
15EX proves vital for the Air Force's future.